Hi guys, it's Bella Box time. That's right, Bella Box time. So it is January Bella Box time. I received mine a couple of days ago um, and I have had so many other reviews and hauls to do that I've been meaning to do since like the first week of January and I've struggled to do. I've tried to record and ended up not having much luck. Um, so let's give this a shot. Let's try and see what we've got in our Bella Box. So this month's theme is 2014, a new year. So obviously it is a new year. I hope everyone had a lovely Christmas and New Year's celebrations. Let's open this up. Ooh, ooh, oh yes. Oh yes, I did actually read, um, they send out a, a monthly email. They actually send out a couple of emails a month, but they generally send out one major one saying what the most exciting or hot product of the month is that they're going to be sending out. Um, and that was actually the Model Co Fat Lash Mascara. Sorry, it's hard to see because it's so shiny. It's like a hot pink shiny packaging. Um, but this is supposed to have a patented exciting brush, which does look pretty nice. It's quite chunky. I, I do kind of like chunky brushes. But it's got that weird little fat bullet shaped tip, um, which is supposed to be great for getting into the inner corners of the eyes and things like that, where people struggle to get mascara. So that's exciting. And that one is worth $20. Um, you can get that from modelcocosmetics.com.au. I'm really convinced you can get Monaco in Priceline as well though, so that's exciting. Easy to access. Um, next we've got a Gatineau Paris face mask. Um, when I was working in a day spa, we actually had Gatineau coming to us a couple of times um, throughout the month asking us to come on board with them. Um, their products did seem really nice. That smells beautiful. I do like masks when I use them, which is rarely. I spent the last five years telling people to buy masks and use them, and I didn't much myself just because I'm lazy when it comes to things like that. I will cleanse my face morning and night. I will scrub regularly. I will do all of those lovely things, but if you leave me to put on a mask for 10 minutes, it just, it's probably not going to happen. Just, I don't know, 10 minutes to put something on and then wash it off. And, seems like a lot of time because I end up washing my face, scrubbing my face, putting the mask on, then washing it off, then moist. It takes ages. It takes me like 20 minutes for something like that. Uh, what a whinger. Anyway, so I may, I may not get around to using that because I still have um, so many other masks that I just haven't used, but it is lovely. It smells nice. I know their other products are beautiful. Um, and the Gatineau face mask is worth $65 for 75 mils. The next one is a product which I received the same brand last time, which is the Avene um, face cream. I think it was last time I received it, and I'm not sure that I actually got around to using it. Um, but it's supposed to be daily moisturizer for dry to very dry, dehydrated, sensitive skin. That's me. Um, and they suggest to use their matching sunscreen during summer months. Yes, of course they do. Um, I'm sure the brand is lovely. I just haven't gotten around to using it. I have so much other moisturizing products that I'm a bit not that interested in moisturizing products. I'm more interested in the other products that they send. Um, so they've sent me a Palmolive Ayurvedal Joyous Shower Gel, which is, if I can get this, struggle with these kind of bottles. My nails are so short at the moment. Oh, I got there in the end. It's supposed to be Indian mulberry and lotus flower. It does smell nice. Um, just that one. It's supposed to be worth $6.79 at Woolworths, Coles and other retailers and pharmacies. I don't generally buy things like Palmolive just because I have extremely sensitive skin and it tends to make me break out or it just, you know, rash go red um, or it just doesn't hydrate my skin enough it makes it quite dry which I know sounds stupid because you're washing your skin it's... but it doesn't work very well for me so I'll probably be giving that to a friend to try for me um, next I'm gonna show you this because I'm excited by this it's a full-size product look at that it's as big as my head 
um, which is the knack, N-A-K, only a hairdresser knows, is the tagline. Fixation finishing spray for all hair types, firm hold hairspray. It holds and protects and it's got the um, straightening tongs image on there, which means I suppose that you can use it for doing hair styling. Hot, hot hair styling. Of course you can use it for hair styling. It's a hairspray. Heated hair styling you can use it for. And that one is $10 for 100 mils, which is great. And that's, yeah, that's the size we've got, 100 mils. Um, so we're down to the last two products. This one is the Natural Green brand. That's what it's called. <sighs> this is going to be funny. I'm going to try and say it. Tepez Kohuti or Co Kohit. C-O-H-U-I-T-E. I don't know. Um, cream number 115. It says natural skin healing and anti-aging moisturizer with Tepez Kohut. I uh, give up. Uh, extract. Minor burns. Post peel treatment, acne inflammation, which is like, oh, you can't really see that, but like so. Oh, that smells glorious. Oh, it's very like herbal, but really floral and pretty. Doesn't look glorious. Um, I'm not sure exactly what this is for. I'm assuming it's like a, supposed to be a soothing moisturizing treatment. I did say just before that I'm not that excited by moisturizers, but... I mean, I, I am running out of some of my other ones, even though I still have like three bottles left um, of other things. And I am looking for a new brand to kind of move over to once I'm off Jalique and other things that I had previously. So, collagen stimulator, soothe, smooth, and refined complexion, which is what I look for. Um, perfect for all skin times, especially skin times, skin types. Words and I aren't friends. Skin types. Gosh. Even those with sensitive skin. Um, so 60 mils is supposed to be $31 and 120 mils is $41 and they don't have where it's available other than it's available at Bella Box, which seemed kind of obvious. Um, okay, so the final product. The final product. It's the final countdown. I'm going to stop seeing 80 streams, um, is a bonus product. So it's the What Not Facial Wipes. I have heard of these um, and am happy to give them a try. They're supposed to be natural and organic and good for you ones. They are Australian certified organic aloe vera, rose hip and sweet almond oils to gently remove impurities, makeup, even waterproof mascara, free from harsh drying chemicals suitable for sensitive skin. Like more. Uh, this is a five wipes pack. Um, the 25 pack is $7.95. Again, this is available at Bella Box. I'm presuming that you can buy it elsewhere. I just don't know quite where specifically. But that's exciting. I actually did just pretty much run out of my simple wipes that I've been using for my kit um, because they're quite gentle and most people don't react to them. So I keep them in case of needing to clean up. I also use wipes myself um, when I'm doing like heavier makeups and I need something thicker to get them off. So I'll do a once over with a wipe and then cleanse. I do personally always recommend cleansing even when you use these kind of wipes because they do tend to leave a little bit of a residue on your skin. Even if you just splash off with water just to get all that stuff off or wipe with a toner. Just my personal recommendation. Um, but yeah, I will definitely give those a try myself. They're supposed to have been a bronze medal and a beauty medal winner, which is always nice to hear. Um, I'm not, it's apparently for a website, a beauty website. Um, beware with those things that there are a million beauty awards a year um, from different websites and magazines, so it doesn't always mean that much. But I like it, I think that's nice. So that is our Bella Box for January. Ooh, hello. Yeah. Whoa, oh. There you go. It's actually quite a good one in terms of value of the price of the products. Um, there are some exciting things to try, but as per usual, um, you will get different ones depending on what you've stated for your skin and your desires for the Bella Box. So I would love to hear what you guys got. Please do feel free to send me a 
message or comment below. I'd love to hear your comments about what you think of the Bella box, uh, what you had in yours, and if you would like to try it as well. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope this review was helpful. I will be back probably in the next like half an hour with more reviews that I have been meaning to catch up on. Sorry. Um, from Solstice Scents, I've got Fortune Cookie Soap. I've got um, a few different makeup companies that I ordered random little bits and pieces for over the last three or four months. Uh, so lots of hauls and reviews for you guys. Um, so stick with me and we will find out some exciting new products together. I'll talk to you guys soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Bye.